Hey, hey, hey. You are tuned in to School Night. My name is Novina Carmel, and I'm here with Finkel. Thanks Thank for, you having, for us. having us. Just killed it on stage. Highly coordinated. <laughs> Always. I love Always. it. Yes. Those are some gorgeous colors together. Thank you. And 80s. then, um, well, first let me say one thing. During this chat, we're actually giving away some merchandise because it is a celebration. It's your record release party. Truly. Yeah, hell yes. A and we want to give away a Finkel hat to a lucky viewer exclusively in the Twitch chat. The people here don't get the hat. Only you possibly get the hat. Just type exclamation point ticket into the chat to enter the giveaway. And we're going to select two winners at random. And then we'll tell you who the winners are. Sounds good? Exclamation point ticket in the chat to possibly win this hat. And now... <laughs> Let's have and a chat. And our friend made the hat, so it's very cool. It's a very yeah. cool hat. No, I mean, it is very cool. I think it's like on the screen or something. There's like some oh, magic. Oh, excellent. Where they can you can see, see yeah. it now, yeah. right here. This is what it looks, this is what it looks like <laughs> over here. That's what I'm told. Um, so, yes, amazing. That was so much fun. Um, and then you had another person join you on stage to make it even more fun. That was someone that's featured on your album, right? Not on this one, Not but, on this we, one. but we've been collaborating on live shows. Oh, okay. In for a little, we have got a bunch of music yeah. that we've, we've worked on. We want to get more AJ on our tracks, more yeah. Alfred Nomad. He's a killer artist. Y'all need to check out Alfred Nomad. Alfred Nomad. A wonderful man. And was he coordinating with you guys as well? Yeah, oh yeah. We sent, him, we sent him a picture of Is our that clothes. Like a, that's like a rule if you're going to jump on the Finkel stage? Most definitely. Yes. <laughs> uh, unofficial to official it is. Yes. <laughs> nice. Right, right. And now, I mean, I have to ask you guys how you met. I want to know the how we met story. We met in an acapella group in college. Oh, <laughs> so through music. We through did. Music. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then are your like family gatherings just like super musical all the time? <laughs> like is someone breaking out a guitar, getting on the piano? Like with you know, like with yeah. like the cousins and the uncles and stuff most, like that. Most definitely. Jane's side in particular has a lot of musicians in the family. Okay. My side too, they're just a little bit they're they're a little bit more sleepers. They're more closeted yeah, about yeah. it. Oh, yes. right. okay. But Jane Jane's side for sure. We we throw down nice. over holidays. And y'all are from Michigan originally. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yep. And now you're here in Los Angeles. Yes, we are. And one of the Twitch chat questions was, which I thought was a cool question, if, if you found that living in Los Angeles has influenced your music at all. Absolutely. We, we try intentionally to, ta to stay really malleable when it comes to writing a new body of work. Mm. And Los Angeles has so much to offer sonically and visually yeah. that the effect that it has... And then also just going to so many shows. Right. And where, where we were last in Michigan was Kalamazoo, and there was a lot of underground basement shows and a lot mm. of punk scene. And oh, cool. so that was that more of a cool. vibe. I know. Oh that was my in Kalamazoo. God. Oh, yeah. Kalamazoo's it, it, thriving. Kalamazoo you got to go. Crunk. You really do got to go. Kalamazoo is crunk. You should definitely <laughs> stop through. Yeah. And I mean, LA yeah. has so many talented artists. This is like a hotbed for yeah. music. And so it's akin to the whole sprinter method. If you're running behind a really fast runner, you're going to run faster. Mm, nice. So, you know, we, yeah. we, try, we try and take that to heart. Yeah, big time. Let's get to another AMA because there was a handful of them. Um, Ohana Kitty asks, when did you two realize you got something with music together? Well, we got free beer and pizza, <laughs> and that was when we realized yeah. that Wins we every had time. Coll college band days, college band days, <laughs> and the acapella group, obviously. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah immediately you harmonized. We it's did, true. Yeah, literally we, yeah. and figuratively. Uh, yeah, the, the music yeah. was real. Yeah. The music is real. Um, let's see. Couch Twenty One asks: Culturally, how have you found the transition between? up north michigan and southern california okay great question yeah uh well i mean d you know there are stark differences between being in a city and being you know just surrounded by the woods and nature and stuff so there's there's the obvious difference with landscape but uh just the more people that you're around on a day-to-day -day basis uh it, it's going to influence you in some capacity and mm -hmm. so it, we'd be lying if we didn't say that LA has influenced us, but we also needed to take it back home to Michigan to, you know, really feel rooted again and to remember why we're doing this in the first place. And I think trying to find the why always when you're doing something is the important thing to remember. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Let's talk about this new album, which we are celebrating tonight. It's called yes. Islanders mm -hmm. and it's called that because it was influenced by the Island that you're from. It right? was. And I love yeah. that too. Like, you know, you think of Islanders, like immediately I'm thinking of like Hawaii or something really <laughs> right, tropical, right, right. but it's a little different on your, yeah. on your side. Like, tell us more about this album. Um, so I grew up in a 500 person Island mm -hmm. called Mackinac Island and there are no cars. And, wow. um, in the winter there's just one, bar open and 
one small grocery store and one hardware store. And it's the, very small. the uh, <laughs> I, I had five other people in my class, like that kind of small, <laughs> and which I love them so much. And it's, it's a family. It, it's, it's a big it's family. It's a true family. Wow. And so the, the word Islanders is quite charged because it's very physically demanding to live mm -hmm. there because we don't have any cars. Mm -hmm. And... Wow. Um, and there are so few of us that the definition of Islanders is really a charged word. Mm. And as being someone who grew up there until I was 18 and then now lives in Los Angeles, Stark it's an difference. identity yeah. crisis a bit of what what is an Islander? Am I still mm. an Islander? And is Brian an Islander, someone who's been there for quite a while now mm -hmm. j visiting and working there and the album mm. was kind of the, that was one of the themes was the discovery of self in that sort of situation and we mm -hmm. escaped back to the island during the pandemic to kind of get away from all the craziness to try oh, and wow. again remember that why and uh, we have some very close friends that came with us to film a documentary about mm -hmm. it and we're actually I think there's somebody on this twitch stream that's gonna drop a teaser the first teaser for this documentary that we're that we are throwing releasing out. in general i think slow blink will probably end up doing it eventually but oh, cool. uh, <laughs> but anyway uh you know we it was a big art project among friends mm -hmm. who just really wanted to get out of the big city and remember again the the reason why we're all creating art and mm. uh and it was really important i think for us especially at this point in our career to go back and do that yeah, yeah. and that the the project that you mentioned is that in the documentary or mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. the, the whole thing is about writing the album of Islanders okay. and then also with the island and gotcha. kind of its beauties and oddities. Mm. <laughs> and um, and then the album is a soundtrack to it, too. Is it the kind of thing where, like, if you're gone for too long or you start getting, like, L.A. tendencies and they're like, you're not an Islander anymore. <laughs> like, yes. You've gotten, you've you've gotten changed. Hollywood. You've changed. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely something I'm extremely conscious of yeah. when I go home. I, but but uh, every time that I go back, it feels like... Nobody cares about this but you. Mm. Just it's in your own yeah. head. And they're they're uh, I mean it's a sweet family and mm -hmm. they've taken care of Jane for a lifetime and have adopted me in, in the later years and uh, you know we're we're lucky to have them. They they've been at the core of what we've been doing for a long time. So mm. there's no way that we could actually change that that much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and do you feel like? you're kind of carrying that spirit with you like in Los Angeles, like you're creating your community here in that sort of like close-knit way? Absolutely. We we know everyone who works at our grocery store, everyone mm. who works at our 7-Eleven. Yeah. I mean, we just, it's possible all of our neighbors. Yeah, yeah we, we live in an older neighborhood, mm -hmm. so we have a lot of older neighbors and that is a hot crowd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an extremely yeah. fun crowd. Nice, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I heard that on this album, you guys wrote like 22 songs but then you had to pare it down what's that yeah. process like i mean what was there one song that you wanted to keep but you didn't want to keep or vice versa <laughs> absolutely <Great question>. yeah <laughs> uh, yeah most definitely the the songs uh original form part one and two on the record were actually on the chopping block for a while because i didn't think that they were mm. at the par that the other songs were but jane was very very keen to keeping those alive and um you know we we have our discussions just like any other couple does and and mm -hmm. uh ultimately you know if somebody's fighting that hard for it the other person has to listen and mm -hmm. take a take a back seat and realize you know okay there's something important in this tune so we just reworked it for a long time but there's well, there's and, so and many you others were right, on the track though, too. because it, it <laughs> was it was never a fully formed song and mm -hmm. then it ended up being a two-part movement because right. it never was a full song and so the so thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, know. you guys are both right. Yeah, right. So we're both right. <laughs> and uh, when does the documentary come out for people to see? Did in September. In September. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you said that yet. No, all good. Yes. Yeah, um, and I have to ask also, like, the synchronization of the movements. Like, <laughs> how did that come into play? Was it just, like, something naturally you were doing? And then you're like, we got to do this on the show? Or Jeez, this, how did Does that it go happen? back to the acapella days? We love... <laughs> 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 Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably deep deeply yeah. rooted. We uh we at one point in our career had a uh, performance coach come through oh. and try and help oh, us out true. to, you know, develop an I an identity on stage and for us uh the in between parts of songs could sometimes fall off and we could potentially lose somebody and mm. so it was our our mode that the show is perpetuated throughout the entire set, not just during the songs that you're playing and so we decided okay, this is 
this is it. We're, we're performing from the yeah. moment you step on stage to the moment that you get off. And it feels like that. I mean, you cool. really, it's so much fun from front Thanks. to back. Yeah, like we're along for the ride the Killer. whole time. Yeah, yeah. 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 So let uh, someone won the hat. Awesome. Which is really cool. Congratulations. Yes. And the winner is B Dime 1998. B Dime. B Dime. You got it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, School Night is asking on the Twitch for you to message them, and I'm sure you'll figure it out from there. Technology is going to happen for you right now. Um, and we have the question of the night voted on by the chat, which is, what is your favorite memory from while writing Islanders? Um. Well, mine is... Uh, I want you guys to say it in unison. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> All right. We'll be back You're in right. a week. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, there's a phenomenon that happens during the winter on uh, on Mackinac Island that I've always been so attracted to growing up, and I've only been able to do it a couple of times. Jane and her family's done it a little bit more, mm -hmm. but the ice will freeze over between uh, Mackinac Island and St. Ignace, and it's a big strait of water. It's about 750 feet deep. It's and like Lake Huron. Mm -hmm. Lake Huron will freeze, and you can take a snowmobile from the island to the mainland, and it's a little bit of a trip because you know you're mentally Whoa. going over a giant body of water, yeah. and it is it is pretty dangerous you need to make sure that the conditions are right and safe but being able to do that um was a huge goal for us and the film crew while we were on the island and it it was a very brief window that we were able to do it but we were all able to experience that together and it was just such a magical time and a trip That's, just a total trip that sounds surreal like oh, like mm -hmm. does it feel like you're traveling on another planet or something the surface of Absolutely. the moon yeah. yeah yeah and that's actually the album cover is mm. is a shot from when we're crossing the ice mm. um and then mine, I so the, the song Time that we performed tonight, um, I normally take a little bit more time with songs, we both do, and that was one that came out start to finish, lyrics to completion, um, harmonization, all of that in about 30 minutes, because wow. it was just so true to that exact experience of counting down the time that you have with someone when you're right in front of them mm. and how it's kind of a fruitless effort, but we can't help but do it. Mm -hmm. It's like going on vacation. And as soon as you go on vacation, yeah. you're like, there's five days left. Yeah. There's four days left. Got Bittersweet gotta, gotta as soon as you yeah. get there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, I've uh, and there's like this phenomenon that happens too, which is kind of the flip side. Like if you're in a situation that you really don't like, mm -hmm. like for this is this is uh. really left field. But like prisoners, for example, when they're yes. really close to their release date is when they get into the most trouble mm -hmm. on average, because yeah. it's that feeling of like, ah, oh, it's almost there. I'm so close to being yes. released, but it's senioritis so far. Yeah, senioritis. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 another that's a, a high school prisoner. Oh, wow. <laughs> Example, which it's is like great analogy. a great analogy, yeah. yeah. A, a more PG, I guess. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, right. <laughs> but no, yeah, no, it's that's yeah. a really good example. Time is an interesting yeah. thing. Time is it such a construct, is. but it controls literally everything. And if you know, it, that's I think why it was such an emotional dump is because it was just so true to I think the human experience. Yes, and, you know, absolutely. We, we were just the conduits, I guess. Yes. Well. Islanders is out. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, thanks for much. celebrating with us here thanks at for school having night. Us. It's yeah. been a honor. wild time. So much fun. Um, and we're going to see you next time. Bet. Let's Bet. We'll, we'll, we'll see throw you next it down. Time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>